This woman woke up early in the morning to find herself in the arms of a strange man. Her first thought is where she is. Who is this man? But then she couldn't even remember who she was. She panicked and hid in the bathroom, only to find. The wall was covered with pictures of her and that man. They were labeled with sticky notes. The man's name was Ben and he was her husband. And then she saw the wedding ring on her hand. It seems that she was indeed married. But why didn't she remember anything about herself? She went back to the room and asked the man for answers. He calmly told her. They had been married for 14 years. Your name is Kristen. You suffered a serious head injury in a car accident. Your memory is stuck before the accident. And every day after that, you forget everything you experienced when you wake up the next day. The man showed her the old photo album and told her about how they met and fell in love. The man said it was a daily task for him. He also made a special memo of important things and where to keep the necessities of life. But as soon as the husband left, the phone rang. Kristen picked up the phone. The caller said he was a doctor who specialized in helping her recover her memory. Of course Kristen wouldn't remember. But why hadn't her husband mentioned the doctor either? The doctor said he wasn't sure if her husband knew about it either. He told Kristen to look for a camera in the bedroom closet. Soon Kristen was guided to the camera by the doctor. Inside the camera was a video diary she had recorded for herself. A video diary of her own actions that day and the occasional scattered memory she remembered. Just in case she woke up the next day and forgot everything. Oh shit. It's coming. It was obvious she was doing this without her husband's knowledge. She soon got the answer from the doctor. Turns out she'd approached the doctor six months ago to get help with memory recovery. The doctor gave her a camera. He told her to record a daily video diary. He would call her every morning to remind her to watch the videos she left behind. He wanted to help her recover her memory through this method to find out the truth about the attack on her. What was the attack? The doctor said she was beaten so badly that her parents couldn't recognize her. She was dumped in an abandoned construction site. She was hit repeatedly on the head and lost her memory. He pulled out some information from back then. So why did her husband lie to her about the car accident? What else was he hiding from her? This woman wakes up every day with her memory gone. She relies on her husband to tell her about her past. However, she found out that everything was a lie from her husband. So she began to secretly find a doctor to help her recover her memory. One day the doctor discovered from her residual memories. She had a strong reaction to a picture of a red-haired woman. She was supposed to be a person of great importance to her. When she returned home, Kristen pretended to mention the redhead offhandedly. Her husband began to be vague. After Kristen's repeated questioning, he took out some photos of them. He said they used to be the best friend. But after Kristen lost her memory, the girlfriend couldn't bear to get to know each other again every time they met. Then their relationship slowly drifted apart. He hid it from Kristen because he was afraid she would be sad. This reason sounds a bit far-fetched. Kristen blamed her husband for keeping her past a secret. She put a picture of her best friend on the wall and recorded a video. The next day, Kristen turned on the camera again to check the video and found the photo she had put on the wall the day before had disappeared. Why did her husband do this? What was he hiding? When she rediscovered the photos, she was pulled into a memory. Are you all right? I'm Kristen immediately looked at the other photos, but none of them had anything to do with pregnancy. She jerked up her dress. The lines on her stomach were clearly visible. When her husband returned, she rushed into the rain and questioned him whether she had given birth to a child. Where is the baby now? He died. We have a son, but he's dead. He died. No! The husband told Kristen their son's name was Adam. He died of meningitis when he was eight years old. To prevent Kristen from waking up every day to the pain of losing her son, so he erased all traces of his son and hid the truth from Kristen. Eventually, Kristen understood her husband's good intentions. She forgave him. However, the next day she learned from the doctor. Her best friend had been trying to contact her. And when she learned of Kristen's current state, she was confused because as far as she knew, Kristen had divorced her husband four years ago. Kristen met with her best friend with a lot of questions. Finally, she learned some truths from her. It turns out that back then, she was assaulted by an ardent suitor of hers. She lost her memory after being beaten up. Later, in order to prevent her from being tormented by that painful experience again, 
Her husband made up the lie about the car accident. He divorced himself only because of his son. She woke up every day without recognizing him. She even frightened him with some inexplicable actions. This has caused a lot of damage to his heart. So her husband had to choose to take the son and separate from her. When she found out everything, Kristen came home. She apologized to her husband. She told him that she had secretly gone to the doctor after all he had done for her. And she still doubted him. The sudden slap completely confused Kristen. She called her best friend for help. Her best friend didn't believe it was true. She immediately called her husband to ask for confirmation. A few minutes later, her best friend called and told her her husband had been living alone. He said he hadn't seen Kristen himself for four years. So who is this man now? The girlfriends asked her to describe her husband's face. They found out that his hair color was different from her husband's. Her husband clearly had dark hair, but the man in front of her had brown hair. Her girlfriends asked her if he had any scars on his face. Panicked, Kristen wasn't sure anymore, so she ran upstairs to check the photos. She found that not only was there no scar on the man's face, even the photos were all computer generated. By now, the man had already returned. Kristen sneaked downstairs and prepared to escape from here, but the man was already waiting outside. She was stunned and dragged back into the house. When she woke up the next day, Kristen forgot everything again. She had no recollection of the bruises on her face. In the evening her husband said he wanted to celebrate the anniversary. He took her to a hotel. Kristen asked her husband why she was staying in a hotel. He said he wanted her to remember. It was in this room. Kristen rejected his advances. Later, when he learned that Kristen had separated from her husband, he created fake documents and took Kristen from the nursing home. He lived with her every day as her husband, but now he's tired of pretending to be her husband every day. He wanted to be with Kristen as his real self. Looking at the man in front of her, some fragments of memories began to flash in her mind. This is the man who hurt her back then. Kristen tried to escape the room but was stopped by the man. You have to go and do that for you. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what happens. The man deleted all the video diaries from the camera. He wants to erase all evidence that Kristen can recover her memory. Let her be with her true self from now on. He tells Kristen that no one remembers her anymore, including her son. My son is alive! Kristen finally comes to her senses. She has to get rid of this man. She wants to see her son, but she was no match for the man after all. She was knocked down again and again. Again and again, she was dragged back. But finally she found an opportunity. She got a nearby iron, knocked him out. She took the opportunity to escape from the room. She smashed the fire alarm in the hallway. She was finally free. After being rescued, she recaptured the day on video. Never let anyone take my life from me again. And I A few days later she was treated by doctors again and met her real husband here. The husband regretted his decision. He had thought she had forgotten everything. She would be happier alone. He didn't realize how much damage he had done to her. He told Kristen. Their son was still alive. 